Hi, my name is David Sanchez Burr. I'm an artist here in Nevada, Las Vegas. My name is Troy Gillette, uh, a local artist here in Las Vegas. My name is Jason Adkins. I'm one of the artists in the 10x10 exhibition. And over to my right is Sucker Punch, and behind me is Confusion Fusion. I was doing that work um, probably about four or five years ago. And when I moved out here to Las Vegas um, a little over a year ago, um, the juices kind of started turning and basically we all want, as, as artists, we all want to change and we all want to evolve instead of keep making the same work just with like even like a 15 to 25 percent variation. And so I kind of just started driving around um, looking at all the abandoned warehouses and they would uh, basically just have all this wood that was thrown out. David wrote a uh, piece uh, called Lot's Wife. Well, maybe of this world, just not of this time. The story of Lot and his wife as, uh, when, as they were leaving uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was uh, they were not to look back because they were going to destroy the city. And if they looked back, they were going to turn into a pillar of salt. And so I, uh, my response to David's um, writing was a uh, don't look back piece. So I wanted to design kind of a device that would inhibit you from looking back. And that is sort of a, actually a metaphor for uh, looking back at your past also and, uh, and you know regrets or whatever that you may have in life. Yeah, well, the piece is an, is an actual instrument. It's actually two instruments in, in total that, that create the sounds that are generated in, in order to be broadcast. That's, of course, a drum. In this case, my sister helped me create this piece. This is supposed to emulate the sound of the ocean. Offer is actually a, uh, a piece that was, uh, it has personal meaning to me. The piece is about um, coming to a new place and trying to make a better life for yourself. And, and, and as an immigrant, my grandfather coming from Denmark, um, I had some old letters of his. They're uh, designed to look like wooden shoes. I found an old dilapidated Bible glued and pasted each piece together and kind of carved it. Nowhere Radio started in Badger, California um, at an ex exhibition at the Hatchery, which is near the Sequoia National Park. And the uh, idea was that, well, that it was literally in the middle of nowhere. And so the idea was Nowhere Radio, but it also rhymes because it's now here radio. So it's, uh, you can be either one inter interchangeably. In one of the reviews, I was taking minimalism and on a ride through a rough neighborhood. And I think that was actually probably a quite fair description of the work. Minimalism, when, when I was in graduate school, I wasn't completely familiar with it. And it was something that turned off to because it was just so simple and minimal. After years and years and years of uh, basically just kind of deliberating on where to take sculpture, where to, and when to dive into sculpture. I mean, you have to embrace um, all historical um, stages, ages, elements, whatever. And so I basically just kind of opened my arms and took minimalism in, in a way. 10 by 10 includes uh, many artists and also writers from the Las Vegas community. And I encourage you to come out and see this exhibition because it represents a wide variety of different styles and different uh, tropes in the art world and also in the literary world. And come on down and take a look at the show. <laughs>